<laughs> Hi, my name is Dahlia. I'm here with my dad, Victor. The date is December 19th, 2022, and we're recording this interview in Chicago, Illinois. Okay, first question. Where were you born? Um, I was born in Mexico in of, of August. Was there a teacher or teachers who had a particularly strong influence on your life? Tell me about them. Um, yeah, in high school when I was a freshman, actually, freshman, sophomore, and junior, um, there was this teacher, a math teacher. Um, his name was Mr. Mahrez. Um, the reason why he made a impact in my life was because he saw the potential I had in solving problems or working with numbers. And I wasn't very good in... I was a, I wasn't a very good student all throughout high school, but that one subject um really challenged me a lot. And he not only taught me about just numbers or math, he actually taught me more about life itself as well. Because as we all know, um, we use math on a daily basis, and I was very good to the point where I ended up taking calculus like my sophomore year. Um, and actually, he sometimes made me tutor classes on my own. So um, if it wasn't for him seeing the potential in me um, to the day now, I don't think I would have ever taken math as serious or school, period. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay, next question. Um, who was the one that got away in your life? I wouldn't say um, got away in my life. I think I was, I'm very fortunate enough to have at least two great women that went, that were with me. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't think one got away from me. Um, they're the both women. They're very, they are fairly similar in great statue, great stature. And, um, they're just great persons and, you know, never really finished anything with any of them. Hmm. So. I wouldn't say got away from me. It's just, you know, things happen and life happen and we move on. Okay. Next question. Uh, what have you learned about yourself from being a parent? What have I learned from being a parent? Oh. Um, I've learned that it's not about you anymore as parents. It's more of like by your kids um trying to build something for them leaving them with something um with all the morals and ethics that you've learned through life and trying to instill that into them i think that's the hard part um trying to guide them um because at the end of the day you know they they all make mistakes and also make right choices so if we could instill real good morals and ethics i think they're gonna be great adults okay um number five what were the hardest moments you had when i was growing up the hardest moments would be um i had to learn how to be more compassionate how to how to examine a, a little girl and know that she was hurt um i had to learn well how to figure out what was bothering her without her telling me Mm -hmm. I think that's that was the hardest part for me um, just growing up and trying to decipher that stuff because as a, as a young young person having a kid I think it's hard because nobody teaches us to be parents um, nobody there's no handbook no manual no worksheet or nothing i mean we're rookie bro we're rookie parents just as much they're rookie babies you know we go along the way and make mistakes and hopefully we learn from them but that was the hardest part okay <clears throat> uh, next question what is your favorite memory of me um my favorite i've had i don't think i only have one i think i have multiple multiple great memories um just from like riding bikes, um, building stuff, working on stuff, um, going to the beach, um, just pretty much just hanging out 
watching you grow up, I think that was that's been the best memory. Okay. Um, number seven. What phase or word will never be the same now that you serve the military? Um, I would say uh, a word that won't be the same would be uh, brotherhood. Brotherhood in the Marines. It's um, when they mean when they say brotherhood, they really mean it. Um, it's very team oriented. Very a lot a lot of camaraderie. I think that's uh, what I mean about brotherhood. I mean we all come from different states, different paths of lives, and that brotherhood word. Um, I don't think will never be. Uh, a different meaning for me now that I've served. I mean, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Um, what lessons has your work life taught you? Um, my work um has taught me to never bring it to my home. Um, whatever we need to differentiate from work and our own personal lives, never take it personal. It's just work. Um, it's not the end of the day because once you start bringing it home it affects your family your relationships um just anything around you and if you're able to leave it once you step out out of the door from your work i mean you're almost guaranteed to have a, a great day okay um next question if you could talk to a younger version of yourself what would you say if i could talk to a younger version of me I would say um, to learn how to be more open-minded in other points of views, perspectives, um, learn to listen. Um, it's not a way you, your way or the highway, you know, just because other people seem to do different things does not mean that it's wrong. It's just mean it's just different and it's okay. Um, yeah, and that's it. Okay, last question. Um, so if you were to pass, how would you like to be remembered as? I would like to be remembered as, a, I think, as a, a stand-up person. Somebody that would be willing to, that's willing to go above and beyond, you know, for the other person. To, if I'm willing to take my shirt off for you and give it to you if you're cold. That's the type of person I would like to be remembered as. Okay, well, that's the, the, uh, the end of the interview. Um, bye. <laughs> Thank you.